On a fine morning, while sorting and noting down the complaints from the chits in my register, I was shocked to find Rita. Here, the names have been changed to maintain confidentiality. Of grade five, complaining about Rishav, that the boy has been teasing her for quite a few days and spreading rumors, along with few more unnecessary details, due to which she was really stressed about this whole affair, and she denied any such link-up. The classmates of Rita also had started avoiding her, and this had led to she uh, feeling very low about herself. So she sought for help. I felt this intervention was urgent. I rushed to their classroom, called the two children separately, and tried speaking to them, hearing their point of views. After listening to both of them, I concluded that it was actually for fun that Rishav was doing all these rumor mongering. The boy was reprimanded sternly and asked to apologize to the girl. He was also asked to clear the air which he had created in the classroom by spreading the rumors. Rita was much at peace as the case was solved amicably. Apart from this, there was another instance when Sarika of grade four had expressed her disappointment of being isolated and separated from the rest of the classmates. They did not involve her in the play and she used to feel very alone. So she wanted us to help her solve this situation. I went ahead and spoke to the class with few motivational words, uh, instilling in them a sense of respect and uh, empathy which they should have for each and every student in the class, and also a sense of oneness. This actually helped as the children realized that what they were doing was not actually right. Bullying is not cool and is not allowed in school. Lend a hand to stop a bully, from bullies to buddies. From all these slogans, as well as the anecdotes, we can understand that I'm pinning my topic of discussion on bullying. Now, what exactly is bullying? Bullying is when individual or a group with more power repeatedly and intentionally causes harm or hurt to another person or a group which they would really not want to do. When bullying is done by a group, it is called mobbing. Bullying is divided into four different types of abuse, psychological, physical, verbal, and cyberbullying. Now let us discuss at depth about bullying in schools, which is a matter of grave concern and how we, the educators, should intervene so that it does not affect the student's well-being. In bullying, the targeted students can uh, be affected in different ways, from low self-esteem to sleeplessness, and in extreme cases, depression. And let us not forget the students who are bullying. They are also at risk of a whole host of issues which could extend into adulthood, ranging from violent behavior to substance abuse. Now, an obvious question which is raised by parents here is how we, the educators, intervene and stop this bullying at its initial stages. In GIIS, under the active support and encouragement by our principal, we are handling this issue on a regular basis. Awareness is created through the life skills classes on anti-bullying. Two boxes labeled bully box and happy box, they have been put up across the schools in both the primary and the secondary blocks where children are encouraged to voice their concern and share their complaints about any issue which is affecting them or is disturbing their peace of mind, which is taken up on priority and resolved. Besides, in the happy boxes, children are encouraged to put in chits and 
uh, share with us the various happiness quotients, what makes them happy and how. Also, they can also express their wish in that box with the class teachers who are kept in the loop if any cases of concern are happening in their classrooms so that they can keep a strict vigil on those students. Now, bullying not only affects the children, but also their parents and the classmates who feel powerless and stressed about this whole affair, which might lead to uh, depression, sleeplessness, and also guilt over not being able to handle and manage the situation. They, the classmates also are fearful of the fact that they might be the next targets. Bullying cases ranging from simple issues like teasing, groupism, ignoring, to somewhat serious issues like using aggression, usage of bad language, discrimination in the form of gender, religion, uh, physical appearance, and also academic competency. All these factors lead to a scenario which really overwhelms the students and they look forward to the anti-bully squad for help. Here, support and guidance from the anti-bully squad acts as a relief to the students and also as a silver lining over the dark clouds. Positive reinforcement through teaching students values of kindness, empathy, respect, tolerance, and also fostering a sense of community in the classroom such that these bullying cases are reduced and also uh, it helps to healing of the children. Now we should try to propagate few positive values in the children. No one deserves to be bullied. Bullying is not a reflection of the victim's character but rather a sign of the lack of character of the bully. A healthy mind does not speak ill of others. Thank you.